yeah. Uh, yeah. Back to Dead Rising. Uh, had to go to Death Stranding yesterday because Twitch was getting fucked <laughs> yesterday. Uh, so I figured I'd just play something that, I don't know. I was just delivering packages. I did a little bit of the story after Twitch came back. But, yeah. So, uh, back to overtime mode in the first Dead Rising. I should be able to beat it with, within an hour, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, but after that, I'll switch over to Dead Rising 2. Probably, probably play through the series. Uh, and then go back to whatever game I didn't finish. Veronica. <laughs> Put that on the back burner. Um, yeah. So hopefully everything works out okay today with uh, Twitch. But I guess we'll find out. Crazy week. I'm on day five. I've killed 12 million zombies. <laughs> Not in this playthrough, that's, that's just overall everything. Or is that 12 million PP? That's probably PP. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, I think that's PP. Uh, so I got everything that I need. I just need to go back to Isabella. Also got some Spitfire. Supposedly that helps with the uh, last boss fight. Which is real pain. Because uh, they, they take all your stuff away. You have to do the fist fight. You gotta fight them with your fists. Are these guys still here? They are. Okay. Fastest way to get to Isabella. Without getting shot. <laughs> uh, they got the helicopter out here, too. stuff, Isabella. Are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready to get the... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> so 
So, this drug that stops the parasite growth. Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. Yeah. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know. Yeah. I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but Carlito kept things from me. <laughs> even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me, will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. That lot of good that does me. Ah, uh, yeah. Two day old coffee. Well, better than three. It's the only hope I've got now. Oh, I love you. <laughs> this is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year, maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Found a plot hole. <laughs> Number 12 is supposed to be Nick. Nick he Ramos. Infected these kids and then gave them your drug. But it says Lisa in the game. Fifty little ticking time bombs. I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. So just have about all the equipment I need now. Bring me some adult queens, and I can get started. <laughs> okay. Gotta go ahead and save in case I screw up, which is definitely possible.
because I do stupid shit sometimes. I'm known for doing stupid shit. Zombies are back. Uh, now we're looking for some queens. I know, I know those didn't have queens. How many queens do I need? Was it set? No? Just one? A couple? Two or three? They just kill the, the remote control car or remote control bl blimp, I should say. Oh, there's there's a queen. What? What do you want? What? What? What, man? What? hours remaining until Frank's zombification. This is a reminder. Frank will turn into a zombie in 18 hours. I got one. Is that all I need? Just one? Or do you need more? How many do you? What do you need? Need more? One more? You need ten? You need <laughs> fucking ten? Holy shit. That's a lot of bees. Looking for 10 bees. Oh. oh god. Oh god, don't eat me, please. I'm already turning into a zombie. Where's all the queens? Anybody seen any queens? Some queens in here. Nope. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual in here. some queens. I need some queens. Anybody seen some queens? Oh, 
Oh, there's a thing. spot to go back and forth. Load them in, load them out. Damn, where's all the zombies? Never mind. I thought there would be zombies in there. He's fighting back as I run away. It's not enough. Just take the other ones. Are you going to say that every damn time? Can't you see I'm holding one? It'll take another five queens. Oh, here, have one more. I need four more. Thank you, Rue. Anyone there? 
there. Oh, okay. I spit on you. I spit. I spit on you. I've deadly spit. Four more. Don't let him get away. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a drink called uh, Spitfire that makes my spit deadly. Four more queens. Looking for some queens. Oh god, he got me. He shot me. Is that a queen? Looked like there was a queen right here. That's a queen. Deadly to me. <laughs> this isn't a Kojima game. <laughs> uh, well, it is a Kenji in a fume game. And he's actually friends with Kojima, so. Wacky Japanese people. <laughs> All right, just need one more, one more queen. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Oh my God! Stop shooting me. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Chowing down on that man meat. There's two, two, back to back. All right. One on the way too. Basically, we're, we're making the very first uh, Zombrex that's ever been made in the game series to suppress the zombification in Frank. Because, surprise, surprise, during all this mess, he got bit. <laughs> He's infected. Uh, so Isabella, who is a medical technician, had you go through different parts of the mall and collect all these items so she can make the very first Zombrex, which suppresses the zombification for 24 hours. So you have to take this stuff every 24 hours. And of course, in the future games, the pharmaceutical company made billions off of it. <laughs> One more. Go find the last specimen for me, Frank. Well, here you go. There's the last specimen. 
not Frank. Yep. And the rest of the games after this, he's infected. Except for four. I think somehow he got cured in four. Or, You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Or they don't even mention it. I, I don't know. Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. Just put it in my ass. Just put it in. You're gonna put it in my in my hand? <laughs> Why my hand? <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Uh, yes, she did. Uh, but now they're dating. Either way, it's so, certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Everything's cool. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. <laughs> it was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? Yeah, they're Wait, together now. The hell out of they're, here. Uh, they're a thing. There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. That's how dating works, right? You only have enough to use it once. You run me over with a motorcycle? And then we start Whatever dating. You say. <laughs> I can I can feel you eye rolling right now. <laughs> My God. There are so many. Where on earth could this lead? I don't know. Considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a Should stop to put your dick plan, in it. <laughs> we've got to go in there. In the motorcycle? <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> it's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. He's half naked. Let's go. Because it's yeah. harder for the zombies to grab him. <laughs> Uh, those are special uh, boxers. You can only get those if you get a special achievement. They're they're really tough to get. All right. Okay, so I have to bring her uh, all the way to the other side of this tunnel. But we've got some. Uh, anti-zombie perfume with us. But she can only carry it. So there is a chance I could still get messed up. She's gonna open that for me, I think. 
that's how it works. So it makes less sense than Death Stranding. Uh, well, just wait till you get to the ending of Death Stranding and I'll ask you that question. <laughs> uh, Cause I still don't quite understand the ending of Death Stranding. <laughs> You're trying to find the soundtrack. Yeah, it seems weird. I drink, should have drank. I probably should have drank this with fire. Are you sure this was a good idea? Didn't install the, re the DLC. Huh. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait. The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. Okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. Alright. Alright. So I made it to this part. Uh, at some point, I need to drink the Spitfire before they take all my stuff away. And I don't know when that is. Uh... And I, I'm not even sure if it's going to work. Uh, someone told me in chat the other day that, that you can use Spitfire.
uh, for the last boss. frames. I'm guessing it's right here. So I'm going to drink one. guessing it's right there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I believe the person who told me. Because I think this is the point where they take your weapons away. You gotta shoot the. You gotta shoot that top thing, and then I think you have to shoot the lights. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, it slows it down if you shoot the lights.
boy. <laughs> uh, so I drank the Spitfire before all that. It'll be interesting to see if it's still applied, if it's still working. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. This high-speed chase is about 10 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> A camera and sensors. Yeah. Oh, shit. That frame rate. Tank boss from Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Where were you hiding when my men mopped up the mall? On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. What are, what are we talking about? <laughs> How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. Oh. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this incident that's all it was to you huh a mission what about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and mistakes it's have research. not begun with this operation <laughs> you wouldn't shoot an unarmed pantless man would you humanity an unarmed pantless man with a camera has proven itself <laughs> to be quite adept at making mistakes Ha! Hell, it's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? So this guy's a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, that's a fight. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Fantastic. Facing that way. Oh, oh, <laughs> I will spit on you. You will take my spit and you will like it. You will bother me no further. I will spit on your your crotch. <laughs> yeah, this is much better. What the actual fuck? 
<laughs> Kiro's mind is blown right now. She doesn't know what to say. <laughs> she doesn't even know what's going on. What? <laughs> I just killed the boss with my spit. <laughs> Beaten by saliva. What the fuck? <laughs> this is yes, this is a boss battle. And this is why you didn't know if there was gonna be a Dead Rising 2 or not. And it took them forever to put Dead Rising 2 out. And this is the ending. Kind of ends on a cliffhanger. Great, greatest of boss battles. <laughs> So it does work. You just drink it before you get into the Jeep. And uh, yeah. that's it. That's the, the true ending of Dead Rising. You witness history. So supposedly, I don't know if this is true or not, I read this somewhere, that the zombies that are walking towards the screen right now are the number of zombies I killed in the game uh, for that specific uh, playthrough. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but that whole thing happened with Twitch. <laughs> so, uh, next up, I'll be playing uh, Dead Rising 2, but before that, there's a little game called Dead Rising Case Zero, which was a sort of demo slash teaser, teaser of Dead Rising 2. That only came out for the Xbox. So it's kind of rare right now because you can't you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, I don't even think you can buy it. I don't think it's on the store.
I got the Mega Man boots. I got the Mega Man tights. I got the Special Forces boots. I got the Special Forces uniform. I got the prisoner garb. I got infinity mode. I'm going to be playing Case Zero. Frank West managed to escape the town of Willamette with information pertinent to the incident. The news caused a severe a, a fervor, a fervor throughout the world, leading to the U.S. government to admit what it had done. However, no connection to the Willamette incident was acknowledged, and the events that occurred there were deemed the work of a fringe terrorist group. The people of the world, as could be expected from the modern culture of news saturation, soon let the Willamette incident fade from their minds. The authenticity of Carlito's chilling plan to utilize the orphans as the pawns has yet to be confirmed or proven. And yet, he complained that his belly was not full. Uh, so, uh, Dead Rising 3 is connected to this game in that uh, the protagonist in Dead Rising 3 is actually one of the orphans that Car Carlito uh, planted throughout America to spread uh, the zombie plague. Uh, which I, I thought was cool. Because going into Dead Rising 3, I had no idea how it connected to the rest of the games. But it does. And I like I like what they do in Dead Rising 3. That's that's the name of the of a river near me? Because he's a zombie. That's the name of the, of the river? Because he's a, a zombie? <laughs> or is it the, the fervor? Fervor river? Willamette? Oh, really? Willamette River? Really? Wow. Man, you should be, uh... Oh, it's pronounced differently? Is it pronounced Willamette? Will am et. Three chunks. Will am et. Will am et. Okay, so that that was Dead Rising. Uh, I like to play that every year for for my birthday. It is it is my favorite game. Uh, every year I find out something new about that game. Without uh, being a voice chat, yeah. Well, you can tell me next time we talk. Uh, so this is Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. This is a demo slash teaser uh, for the Dead Rising 2 video game. Only available on Xbox 360, but they did make it backwards compatible for the Xbox One, which I was very happy that they did that too popular <laughs> when is that next time uh, I mean we could tonight I mean um, we could we could commentate over the stranger danger show they're having their uh, drag fiesta tonight or, or whatever it's called Rokin's podcast is dead. <laughs> I mean, it never really started. <laughs> yeah, that's today. Yeah. Uh, so this was put out in 2010, um, which I, I guess you could say it, it was. It came out 10 years ago. It hasn't. <laughs> Uh, Blue Castle Games no longer exists. They were uh, shut down by Capcom because of Dead Rising 4. Dead Rising 4 killed a company. That's how bad it was. 
I also beat it in one day on Christmas Day, which I was surprised how fast I beat it. Uh, I'm going to restart story. I should probably change the game. I always, for always forget to do that. I don't even know if they have it. I'll probably just put Dead Rising 2. Yeah, they don't have it. I'll just put Dead Rising 2. Uh, he's not supposed to have a mo mohawk. That's just that I got that on my last playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I've, I played Monster Hunter. You weren't here for the Monster Hunter playthroughs. Oh, that's, that was that was probably before we met. Oh, well, this is a different character. This is Chuck Green. Uh, this isn't Frank West. I like Chuck. He's a good character. Uh, he's taking care of his daughter. Who... His wife, her mother, became a zombie. And bit her. So every 24 hours he has to give her Zombrex which is the drug that was given to Frank West in the first game. Yeah, you weren't here. Sorry. No, Daddy, no. Nobody likes shots, honey. Your B-Day. Ooh. But it's very important. Are you actually going to tell me what your birthday is? Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell me on, on Death Stranding. Uh, do you do you own a, a switch? You, you don't have to tell me your birthday. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> oh, you got a switch light. Nice. You're gonna stream it. <laughs> Yeah, not out, not out right on stream. I understand. <laughs> Hero is so mysterious. Katie, stay right here. Oh, no capture card. Okay. Hey! That's my truck! Stop! Son of a bitch! 
So the Zombrex was in the truck. And he needs it for his daughter. Or she'll turn into a zombie. Zombies are taking over again. A at the same time? Yeah, yeah. I understand. You don't normally stream from con to yeah, from consoles. It's really breaking your immersion. <laughs> Katie. Daddy loves you so much. I wish I could pull off a mohawk. But where are you going? I have to go get some more Zombrex and figure out how to get us out of here. So meh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta. It's in the options. I gotta fix the, the sound. I forgot to check that before I started. Okay, so I have to find Zombrix for her, and she has to take it at exactly between 7 and 8 o'clock. Uh, if she doesn't get it, she'll die. Uh, much like the first game, you have a watch, and everything is based on time. And for some reason, they took that away in 4. <laughs> Still pretty quiet. Well, that might have that might have done it. Might have done it. I'll check. Resident Evil Two. I think every white girl reminds you of that girl in Resident Evil Two. <laughs> now you mean the little kid, right? Uh, yeah, it's still quiet. Crank up the sound. You all look the same. As a minority, you all look the same. That should be better. Uh, so in this game, you can build weapons. You can make special weapons, uh, which is a cool feature. Uh, they have maintenance rooms, uh, and they have different combo uh, weapons you can unlock with combo cards that you can find throughout the game. Uh, specifically, the Dead Rising 2 game. I'm not, I don't think they have combo cards in this one. Uh, you also get more PP points uh, if you kill zombies with a combo weapon. So I can return my clothes, and this is yeah, how smooth. this is how I'm supposed to look. This is just a little town. Uh, that's explaining saves. I 
can save at the restroom. And this little little uh, teaser also has achievements. I already got all, all of them. But uh, you can 100% this. <laughs> See, I get even more PP for that. There's even more zombies on the screen too. That was a, that was a big uh, thing that they promoted. Gotta get the chivos. PP stands for prestige points. Uh, it is the experience. That is what the experience is called in Dead Rising. Uh, that's what you level up with. Platypus playtime. Yes, that's even better. <laughs> that's also the, uh... That's the points of this channel. The PP. It's, it's the penis pump points. <laughs> Plastic plushy, plastic plushy penis pumps. So I'm looking for the Zombrex. That's why he looks at the ambulance. And there is case files. Just like uh, the first Dead Rising. So I completed case file 01. Now I'm on 02. out of town, blocked with wreckage, and zombies. Search the quarantine zone for clues about what happened here. Search for Zombrex and find a way to escape from Still Creek. Okay, so this place is called Still Creek. It's just a little, it's just a little part of, uh, of, uh, the, I guess you could say the second game. Because these characters are they're on the they're driving on their way to get to the second game, <laughs> and they get stuck in this little town. Okay. Uh, we got some got some road beers. But he's not a reporter. That's right. He's not a reporter. You're absolutely right. He is a motocross stuntman. He rides motorbikes for a living. Uh, I guess I have to go this way. It's funny, you can still take pictures in the second game, but it's with a disposable camera. That explains why he's so buff. <laughs> I think Frank is bigger. I think... Uh, I think Frank has a bigger build than Chuck. Oh, 
Thank God. So we got some zombies. So he can fix motorcycles as well, and that's uh, pretty much part of the, the story. He's good at building things. That's why he can make uh, combo weapons. Uh, the military is coming at 9 p.m., and they will take Katie into quarantine if they find her. Uh, get the damage back, the bike back to the gas station for repairs. Get Katie's Zombrex by 8 p.m. Repair the bike and use it to escape Still Creek before the military arrives. Nathan Drake, yep. More, more of a slender build. Still looks pretty good for being 360. Uh, no, the Uncharted series was before this. say around 2006 this is 2010 hold on honey everything's gonna be just fine daddy's got to go get a few things daddy I don't feel so good can I have some more of that medicine now I can't give it to you too early, honey. It's dangerous. You'll get too much. Can you fix the motorbike, Daddy? Daddy can fix anything. <laughs> Just leave it to Daddy. He'll make it all better. I need to search around town for five bike parts. Papa Dukins will <laughs> fix everything. <laughs> uh, you need to find replacement parts and bring them back to the shop to repair the damaged bike. The parts are located around Still Creek. Some may not be easy to find. Check the bike parts screen in the pause menu to see your progress. I need a wheel, some handlebars, an engine, some bike forks, gasoline canister. All right, make another uh, another one of these. Kick some ass. Uh, might need some snacks and some orange juice. Because what goes better with potato chips than orange juice? Uh, let's 
Let's see. There might might be. I mean, this is a junkyard. Uh, I I don't remember uh, that much about this game. Uh, so I'll be refreshing my memory with this playthrough. <laughs> it's been a it's been a long time. Gotta load in all those zombies. <laughs> oh, they're loading in a cutscene. And the queen bees have returned. Queens produce the larva that's inside the zombies' heads. So if you kill the queen, the zombies' heads will explode. There's Dick. Anybody out there? Uh, just like the other games, there are survivors in this one too. This is Dick. And I have to get rid of the zombies for him. local pawn shop. Do you think you could help me get back there? I'll open the shop for you and help help you out. Talk to me when you're ready to go. Let's get moving. So now we follow Dick to his pawn shop. And I think we can buy stuff from him to make more combo weapons. He probably also has a bike part. For our motorcycle. Thanks for keeping me safe. I own this pawn shop. I know you helped me out, but I can't just give things away for free. Maybe I'll give you a good deal. Oh, great. I got a business to, to run. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of that mess. Is there anything you need from my store? And I could use some stone bricks. Uh, you can also find uh, money. And another big thing in Dead Rising 2, because it takes place in uh, a Las Vegas type city. I forget the name of it. I don't think it's called Las Vegas. They call it something else. Uh, there's casino. There's gambling. Okay, so he's got he's got two of the, the bike parts. Plus he has extra Zombrex. Well hello Lana. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, uh, and there's another survivor, that's Bob. This is no damn good. <laughs> Okay. 
So we gotta get the Bob. We gotta talk to Bob. some beers. Howdy, fella. Didn't think you noticed me up here. Name's Bob. Blackrock. What are you doing up here? I barricaded the gas station. It should be safe. No sirree, buster. My daughter's missing. I ain't moving till I find her. Uh, so you, they're... With the survivors, there are, are quests uh, that you have to complete. As you ex explore Still Creek, you will uncover missions. Each mission has a time limit. You can track the time limits on the mission queue on the HUD. Messages will lead you to the survivors of the zombie outbreak scattered around Still Creek. So, just like the first game, uh, everything's based on time. Uh, he's going to flag you down if he sees anything. So he's basically like Otis from the first game. Howdy Chuck, I spotted a couple walking into the bar a while ago. Maybe you should give them a hand back at, at, to, to the gas station. Okay. You should check out the bar. A couple is boozing up in there. Okay, go into the bar. Where's the bar? Is there a map? There is a map. Uh, so this is the town. And we're looking for the bar. I wonder if he means the bowling alley. That's the casino. Uh, the dirty drink. <laughs> so this is the bar. Okay. <laughs> It's called the It's called the dirty drink. Uh no, this is the demo slash teaser of Dead Rising 2. Only available on the Xbox 360. I don't I don't think they sell it anymore. Gemini. She's a woman of the night. Oh, my Fosto. Hi, I'm Gemini, and this is Fosto. We got caught in the roadblock and had to leave our Vegas winnings. That's a shame. Listen, <laughs> I know a safe place I can take you to. That would be great. I'll even make it worth your while. Ooh. Great. Oh, Gemini. Too young to die. Oh, Fosto's a little drunk. There are survivors of the outbreak scattered throughout Still Creek. Escort anyone you find back to the gas, sta gas station, though some might not come with you willing. You have to press Y to call them, or you can also make waypoints for them. Upon rescuing survivors, you will receive a large PP bonus. What was that? Uh, plastic plushy penis pumps? Man, I need more booze. I think you've had enough. I ain't going anywhere until I get a freaking drink. Well, we gotta get this, gotta get this man sauced up some more. Platypus playtime. <laughs> you use blenders to mix food items together. Uh, that's what I did to kill that last boss. I mixed some drink together and it made my spit more lethal. Yeah, mix mix drinks do a lot. All right. Got to give this man some booze. Thanks, pal. Looks tasty. Okay, pal. That should do you. It's not safe out here, especially not for you. One one more drink. I just need one more. I'm still still too thirsty. Plastic plushy penis points is p p p. Hey, Ah, uh, PP bonus. He knows what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. 
Uh oh. Puking rally. Now I'm good to go. I guess I'll come with you. Oh, hell yes. All right, now we have Fosto and Gemini. And we're going to take them back. We're going to take them back to meet Katie. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, the survivors in Dead Rising 2 are way better than Dead Rising 1. Hurry up. Stick with me. Still there? Keep close. They don't normally get stuck. I mean, it does happen sometimes. Faster. But is it? It's a much better system than, than the first game. Let's go. Let's get it on. Okay, Gemini stuff. So we're gonna make a waypoint. For, uh, you go. Fasto. Yep. Yeah, see. She got unstuck. There we go. Look at that. Look how much easier that is. Uh, and it also tells you when they're available to go to the next area. They have a door that appears above their head. Uh, which makes it a lot easier. Appreciate that. All right, we got Gemini and Fausto. She also gave us some money, I think, that we can go gamble with. Fifteen thousand dollars. All right, and I leveled up. Earn PP by killing zombies, saving survivors, and defeating psychopaths. Earning PP lets you level up. Leveling up lets you gain new skills and attributes. Nice. I got more inventory. Also, okay, so they do have combo cards. Uh, combo cards give you the recipe to build powerful combo weapons. The cards you have found are all in the combo card screen. Killing with combo weapons give you bonus PP. You can level up faster and kill more zombies. Nice. That's awesome. Presented by Capcom. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to make the IED. Which is a propane tank and a box of nails. Those are some big nails. Yeah. They got a little, little bigger somehow. supposed to shoot it with a weapon. <laughs> there we go. Let's 
go talk to Bob. Shit. And it's locked. Okay. Hey, Lusty. How's it going, man? Flag you down if I see anything worthwhile. You can talk to me, and I'll give you the scoop. Okay. So he's a, he hasn't seen anything. Right now we're just gonna explore a little bit. Uh, we're also looking for money. Uh, zombies love gambling. I don't know if you knew that. But they can't get enough of it. Campbell's while daughter is dying. Father of the year. Ah, uh, this is the bowling alley. I don't. I don't think you can bowl. Yes, it is. Uh, if Katie dies, it's game over. Zombies love bowling. <laughs> uh, let's see. How's it gonna let me? Oh man. Best bowling game is Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, one day I'll, I'll play through that game. Play through the whole Grand Theft Auto series. Alright. Uh, I can also wear a dress. Pretty. 
Yeah, I can, I can be pretty. And they got bacon. 10 out of 10. Any game with bacon. You haven't played a single one? I didn't I didn't really like 5. Uh, I don't know if I'll play through that one. I thought 4 was better. On stream? No, no. I haven't. Uh, they also have books. Uh, books will give you uh, bonus bonuses, like buffs. Uh, this one will give you more health. Okay. Gives you more health from food items. Uh, this is where you get the mohawk. There we go. I'm beautiful. See, they got anything back here? Got some shampoo. All right. Here's another maintenance room where we we can make more. Uh, you like the dress? Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> oh, it's just another another propane. That pawn shop. It's right here. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh, the controls are more streamlined than Dead Rising 1. The, the controls make more sense in this one. So. Saints Row 5. Uh, you probably mean 4. I don't they don't have a 5. Or maybe 3. 3 is the most popular Saints Row. Dick, uh, I need some bike parts. I'll go ahead and buy this wheel. One that was really purple. Um, well, they, they're all really uh, purple. There we go. I don't really need, need the magazine. Nice. I got the wheel. You remember that purple game? <laughs> uh, it was probably three. Uh, did you play it on PC? Because if you did, it was it was definitely three. Wasn't there another bike part in here? Nope. Okay. Oh, I gotta carry it. Okay, we're gonna take this back. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Gat goes to hell. Yep. A male nurse driving a Maple Leaf car. <laughs> like, uh, kind of looks like Ace Ventura when he was in a in a tutu. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. 
Uh, let's see what's going on with Gemini. It's no good. All this money has caused nothing but problems. The only thing that was precious to me was the gems that Fausto bought me. When we first got married, I had to leave them at the roadblock. Hey now, would you get those gems for me? If you get me those gems, the money is yours. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I love Ace Ventura. Alright, so we got the wheel. Now we need four more. We've got to get Gemini her gems so we can make more money. The last waifus. <laughs> yeah, that's on Steam. <laughs> I almost bought that. <laughs> I was going to stream it as a joke. <laughs> There's like buku of those. It's like the last waifus. Uh, they have one that's like Call of Duty called Call of Waifus or something. Steam is just got so much crap. Uh, they've been trying to filter all that stuff, but uh, I, they don't have that much success with it, I don't think, because there's so much of it. Three more. Also need money. Oh, I can't. I can't throw anything in here. That's right. I'll just take it with me. So her gems are at the border, which is probably... It's probably by the bridge. That's where her stuff is.
looking for the gems. Where would the gems be? I don't know. Anybody seen any gems? Maybe it's in a truck somewhere? There's a flashlight. Top of the bus. Can I get up there? Got some football. zombie sports. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know where these gems are. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. I think they're I think that's what they are. Take this flashlight. juice actually makes noise. <laughs> oh, got a handgun. Yeah, not as effective. To their face. Uh, I don't know if it's in in this, but you can hit baseballs in the second game, which is what I'm going to play after this. Uh, this is just a uh, a demo teaser. Got to make some more money. Just everything. <laughs> Everything respawns. Do headshots matter? <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Do that. Good job, Bob. I wish I had a skateboard. <laughs> I do miss the skateboard. So I'm going to give the gems back to Gemini. And she's going to give me a bunch of money. are my lucky charms. Makes me feel like things are going to be better now. The money is yours. Fifteen thousand dollars. Alright. Uh, you can also use the gems to make a lightsaber. Uh, but she took them all, so... I'll have to do that later. Go check on Katie. Hey, Katie, how you doing? Katie's alright. weapon back. Uh, let's see. Could also make another weapon. Just have to find a bucket. There we go. Plenty of buckets. Get the register. Because we need money. What's in here? Oh, it's the roof. Let's go check the roof. See what's up there.
uh, those loading screens. Xbox 360 loading screens. <laughs> Purple, purple paint. Oh, there's a sniper rifle up here. Bob's calling us. We gotta go see what Bob wants. He's probably got some info for us. What's happening? I'm coming, Bob. What's up, Bob? Hey, Chuck. I saw some pretty little girlies in the bowling alley. You should help those ladies out. Zombies. Help me. I'm so uh, got some white tennis shoes. <laughs> and uh, a bowling shirt. will explain what happened. I'm too hungover. <coughs> Hello, Tia. Tia is a very healthy girl. <laughs> uh, in Dead Rising 2, they increased the the breast size significantly. <laughs> we went to Las Vegas for our friend Sharon's. Uh, it turned out he wasn't kissing her, he was biting her. They said Sharon was going to turn into a zombie and took her to the quarantine. Okay, so their friend, they went to a bachelorette party and their friend was basically eaten by the male stripper. <laughs> we want to find her, but we're too scared to leave. Her wedding is tomorrow and she's marrying my brother. He'll kill me if she doesn't show. <laughs> look, I know a safe place. You better come with me. And then I'll go look for your friend. We're not leaving this place until Sharon is back with us. She could still be in the quarantine area. We'll come with you if you find her. Okay, so we have to find Sharon. Hi, Tia's boobs. Okay. Let's see if it'll, it'll lead us to uh, Sharon. Dog. I could I could go for a chili dog right now. I hope there's some hotties too. All right, we're looking for Sharon. Reverse order. Hi, boobs, Tia. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, Lusty. Uh, 
I think I hear her. Damn zombies. I'm on my way, Sharon. It's the perfect weapon. Hey, Sharon. How's it going? Okay, you wouldn't happen to be Sharon. Yeah, I'm Sharon. And no, I'm not feeling so hot. Wait, how did you know my name? I ran into your two friends. They're looking for you. What, really? They're alive? I really want to be with them. But because of my condition, I'm afraid I'll be putting them in danger. Do you have Zombrex? Uh, yeah, I do, but I kind of need it. Oh, please, can I have it? I just want to get back with my friends. I'll make it up to you. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can't wait to see my friends. Right on. All right. So we took, we gave her the Zombrex, because who cares about Katie, right? She's only our daughter. <laughs> so we're gonna take Sharon back. And hey, if we bring Sharon back, we might get a chance to see Tia's boobs. So that's worth it, right? Look at Sharon. He found her. Will you guys come back to me, with me to the safe house? <laughs> yeah, we'll come with you. Sick. Awesome. All right. Mm. Now it's a party. Hi, Sharon. Meet Boobs Tia. <laughs> Boobs Tia. Meet Sharon. Stick close. Move in. Faster! Keep going! Still there? Let's go! Keep moving! <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, Lusty. Stay close! <laughs> By the way, how's your abs doing? <laughs> Stay right there! I don't want to die! Look at that. The survivors are already better than the first game. <laughs> and thus I have to take you everywhere. <laughs> what did you like to know? <laughs> Telling you, Lusty, you should start an OnlyFans. Called Lusty Bard's oh, Abs. Thank you. Or in your case, Abs Lusty Bard. Okay, so we brought them back. We're leveling up. Health increased. New skill move acquired. Oh. For fuck's sake. 
And we got the jump kick. Alright. Uh, let's go make a new bat. Well, Fausto's happy. Thanks. Because of boobs, so Tia. Anything you people need? I appreciate that. Can I show my appreciation? Yeah, you can show me your appreciation. Thanks. Show me boobs to you. That was so nice. Thanks. Yes. All right. So we need to go buy some Zombrex because we gave it to Sharon. So our little girl doesn't die. Go ahead and save. Alright, 10 a.m. Save music kind of sounds like uh, Beetlejuice. the jump kick. All right, let's go get some Zombrex and then we'll, we'll check on Bob. I think Bob wants to talk to us. Yeah, Bob's, Bob's away waving us down. Thirty-nine thousand five hundred. <laughs> there we go. This is Dick. Uh, we can also buy a moose head. Bingo! All right, we got some Zombrex again, and a moose head. Let's see. There. We can drop the orange juice. Pick up the spike bag. Now we got the moose head. And oh boy, do I like the moose head. Canadian content. With a mouse? What? <laughs> this kind of replaces the skateboard. Yeah, I, I, know, I know what you meant. <laughs> All right. Money, money, money. a moose noise when you put it on. Yeah. Two young hooligans behind the department store. One looks like he's using a broken bike part as a weapon. He 
find those punks behind the department store. Okay. How do we change floors? Okay. Department store. I think this is the department store. Okay. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. That's not good. Did we lose the head? Oh, we lost the head. I think this guy wants some spray paint. Whoa, Archie, check it out. Isn't that the motocross star, Chuck Green? It totally is, dude. Big fan, Chuck. Motocross and ass kicker. Yep, yep. Hey, I'm trying to fix my bike, and I need a handlebar. Take it. I could have that one, please. <laughs> this thing makes a killer weapon, bro. I'm gonna need a better weapon. Get me a broadsword. I bet that hunting store would have one. Okay, so we gotta get a. Uh, Broadsword. Hmm. I'm a big fan. Okay. So the hunting store is locked. Not, not quite sure where the key is. Building. What's this do? Huh. Construction items last longer. They brought back the serve bot. We got bowling, plants, nails. And slot machines. And footballs. Maybe I can talk to Bob. 
<laughs> Maybe he'll tell me something. Gotta give Katie Zombrex in 30 minutes. Uncle Bill's two guys. There's two guys. You got a key to that store? No. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can get on the roof. Bob's down here. Shed key. <coughs> and I got the secret hat. Hmm. I got the black cowboy hat. It's very rare. So I need to get on that roof somehow. Might have an idea how to get up there. Uh oh. That means it's nighttime. Zombies are stronger at night and more aggressive. Hello out there. Oh, Bob wants to talk to us again. But we don't have time for Bob right now. We have to go give Katie her daily dose of Zombrex. Wearing a different outfit. <laughs> there we go. Hey, sweetie, I've got your medicine. Hungry. It wasn't mommy, sweetheart. <laughs> it just looked like her. Hey, buddy. Uh -oh. Sorry if this is your place. We just needed to get some supplies. <laughs> 
Well, all right. A little one. Perfect to complete my collection. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? You stay away from her. <laughs> Zombies are good hunting, son. Kind of like shooting people. But without all the legal hassle, <laughs> this outbreak's been a pile of fun. <laughs> Oh boy. I never liked that fella next door, anywho. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 listen. She's not a zombie. She's just a little girl. Oh, oh I see you give me that shot. She's a zombie, all right. Come on now. Step aside, let old Jed finish the job. Katie? Run! There's no call for that now. <laughs> I gambled that cross stress how long I'm away. So I'm just doing Here's you your favor. Best. Better now than later. Come on out now, little. <laughs> You're not gonna hurt her. Not over my dead body. I done had enough of you, zombie lover. Get out of my way! <laughs> uh, yeah, so much like uh, the first game, there are psychos. People who go insane. The zombie apocalypse. We got him. <laughs> I don't think this guy's insane. <laughs> Someone who thinks they're you right. <laughs> you for a while. General <laughs> definition. But someone get your little zombie <laughs> sooner or later. You can be sure of that. It's just a matter of time. If I can't do it. Yeah, the recent happenings. Yeah. The government will. Fuck shit. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> That's pretty great for a demo slash teaser. boots don't you worry honey daddy won't let anyone ever take you away not for any reason never Got her, her Zombrex and we killed a psycho.
And we still got to get into that store. Right on. A Mega Blaster? No, nah, it's not available. But we do have a Pitchfork Shotgun. sword out of that store so I gotta figure out a way to get to the roof oh yeah you also shoot too <laughs> finger from dead space <laughs> it's a new thing for you <laughs> America I think I can get over there from here Making progress. Making some progress. Is there anything up here? What is that? A plant? Oh, you can get over here through, from there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright. I did it the hard way. Like I always do. <laughs> This is how you get the broadsword. There we go. And we found Darcy! You got the same exact suit? <laughs> I see you're, you're a person of good taste. <laughs> Did you see my father? I twisted my ankle and haven't been able to find him. Will you follow me? I'm going to take you and your dad to safety. I better not go anywhere, alone with a strange man. My dad would kill you if he finds out. Why would he kill me? He's really protective. You better bring him here so he can see no funny business is going on. Okay. I can't chance it. I gotta find my dad. Alright. Okay. So she's not gonna come with us. But we did unlock the door. Did you wear it to your interview? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Alright, we got 
the handlebars. You guys want to? All right. All right. Stick to me. Keep close. This way. Video chat interview. Stick with me. Are you gonna post that on your OnlyFans? Keep going. <laughs> Still there? Move it. Let's go. Let's go. It seems like we're running out of time. I don't know. If the handlebars will reset You're the time. Real pal. The wrong impression. I rip out the whip out the <laughs> crazy suits after after you get the job. <laughs> Just failed. <laughs> but at least I know where the uh, the shed key is. Military arrives in ten minutes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Gotta do it after the ninety days, yeah. <laughs> Save your progress. Uh, no. It's, uh, okay, now, now I, that I kind of know where to go, maybe I can do a better, better time. Let's see. 10 a.m. I'll try the 10 a.m. Try the 10 a.m. save. All right. Ah, uh, this must be the queen bee. Maybe. No? No, I already have one. Alright. So 
I got the Zombrex. Uh, now I'm gonna open up that store, get that out of the way, and the shed. Take the, the long way this time. There. It's a tricky, tricky jump. Very tricky. <laughs> Shed key. And we'll get the broadsword for later. in here yet. Sweet. Put on some hunting gear. Uh, also pick up one of these. And one of these. Oh, they also have the moose in here too. Let's see. There we go. Now we're ready. So he must be, that must be Darcy's father. Uh, we'll go talk to... Well, we don't have any bike parts right now. Head anymore? No, we can't. Oh, well. That's a damn shame. Damn zombies. Keep dropping.
All right. I think there's uh there's one bike part that I'm not sure where it could be. I know where the handles, the forks, uh, the engine. Where would the engine be? We gotta talk to Gemini. She's gonna send us on a quest. No, it's not gonna let us do that. so bad for her. Feels so bad that she's married to that scumbag. <laughs> but she did it to herself. Uh, now we go and get her gems and the motorcycle wheel. Head too. Because it'll make us a whole lot faster. Our running speed is atrocious. <laughs> really wish I had a skateboard. So much, Bob. Thanks for shooting. <laughs> and here are the gems. the wheel. <laughs> Need two more bike parts. No idea where the last one is.
All right. Yeah, we'll just make make one of those. Gemini. Sweet. All right, fifteen thousand. better time. Doesn't look like Bob wants to talk to us. We'll go buy some more Zombrex. Get back there. It's a paddle. Well, at least I know where the paddle is. might have some information on some bike parts. Can I go this way? Ooh, I can. So, is there anything over here? Some chairs. Got some beer. Sheriff's office. <laughs> Got some shotguns, whiskey.
some bricks. Unlock the door. So we need a thousand dollars. Should have more than enough to get more information. And I hope he doesn't give me information about bike parts that I already have. All right, Dick. First part, you should check Still Creek Hotel for the shed. Got one more hint. It's going to cost a bit more. Great. Check the alley behind the theater. People like to store junk back there. Okay. Where's the theater? Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. that up there? It's a battery. Is this behind the theater? Hmm. And how do we get into the theater? Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Awesome. for the host.
All right. All we need is the handlebars. And we gotta wait for Bob to tell us where the handlebars are. That probably doesn't appear till after the psycho fight. Oh, no, he's waving us down. He might have something. those ladies out. Check out the bowling alley. All right. For those hotties. Hey, are you good? Is girls okay? Yeah, so she basically tells you that she <laughs> took her future sister in law. Yeah, she's really drunk. Uh, to a bachelorette party, and the stripper started eating the bachelorette. Sharon. Sure. Long time no talk. Uh, she's not feeling too good because she got bit. So she wants... She wants Katie Zombrex. That's okay, we have an extra one. Because we came prepared. There you go, Sharon. Awesome. And we get the carrier. Yeah. <laughs> 
around here. Awesome. All right. Stay close. Keep close. Stick to me. Stick close. Come on. Keep moving. Stick with me. Stay close. <laughs> Keep it moving. Bob's got a lot of bullets. Keep close. Still there? Stick to me. Follow me. Let's go. Stick close. This way. Move that way. This is scary. <laughs> this is so scary. Thanks for the follow, Kumi. How's it going? Thank you so, so much. All right. And we leveled up. We got a new move. Please don't leave me too. Safe. All right. I don't think we need any more money. wants to talk to us again. Let's go see what Bob wants. the department store and that is our final motorcycle bike part thing that we need to get out of here Big fans of Chuck. Chuck is a motocross uh, superstar. Real big on ESPN. Ow. Uh, my bad. And they want a broadsword in exchange for the motorcycle handlebars. And that's the last part you need. with me move it don't fall behind hurry up 
Come on. Come on. Let's go. Stick to me. This way. Keep going. Let's go. Don't fall behind. Stick close. Keep it moving. And this this might be the psycho fight. Maybe. Or that's probably after the Thank you, man. Zombie nighttime cutscene. You a beauty. It's beautiful. Look at all that duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Risk traveling with Katie until she's had her Zombrex. No more, please. It was so great of my heroes. I appreciate that. Please hold me. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's go see if we can find Bob's daughter. Guessing his daughter appears at night. Maybe. Is there a way inside the theater? Parking back here.
that come on <laughs> oh that's all you had to do <laughs> no? okay there's nothing in here Okay, this is the hotel. Uh, you could heat up the, uh, the frying pan. Make it extra hot. Burn the zombies' faces until they lose their clothing. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, this can't be good. Perfect. See Darcy.
So probably at six o'clock, his daughter will appear. And then we'll go fight that psycho. Yeehaw! the guns. Drinking all your beer, Bob. This is my uh, this is my spring attire. <laughs> it accentuates my chest hair. I 
this. I can just run around with my moose head. Maybe that psycho will appear. after I give Katie her shot. Just playing the waiting game. <laughs> Once you know where everything is, it, it they give you plenty of time to, to collect everything. here yet? Where's Darcy? Anybody seen Darcy? She's supposed to be in here. It's probably after the psycho fight. That's okay. I got another one. Almost done. Go ahead and save. And then I think we fight a psycho. And then we look for Bob's daughter. the zombie cutscene. Ha, ha, ha. 
All right, it's time to give Katie her her shot, so she doesn't turn into a zombie. Hey, sweetie, I've got your medicine. <laughs> the moose heads in the cutscene. That's awesome. <laughs> your place we just needed to get some supplies <laughs> awesome <laughs> well all right a little one perfect to complete my collection <laughs> what the hell are you talking about you stay away from her <laughs> zombies are good hunting son kind of like shooting people but without all the legal hassle <laughs> This outbreak spread a pile of fun. <laughs> I never liked that fella next door, anywho. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 listen. She's not a zombie. She's just a little girl. Oh, oh I see you give me that shot. She's a zombie, all right. Come on now. Step aside and let old Jed finish the job. Katie? Run! <laughs> There's no call for that now. <laughs> you know it's just a matter of time. So I'm just doing you a favor. <laughs> better now than later. Whoa, Lana. Come on now, now. Five hundred bits. You're not gonna hurt her. Not over my dead body. I done had enough of you, zombie lover. Get out of my way! Oh, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you for being awesome and giving all your viewers great content. Oh, you think this is great content? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. Escape. 
got him. Awesome. You might have saved her for a while, but someone will get your little zombie sooner or later. You be sure of that. It's just a matter of time. If I can't do it, the government will. Daddy won't let anyone ever take you away. Not for any reason. Never. Uh, please show some love to Lana Winter. She's also a streamer. Occasionally. <laughs> uh, she's very cool. I highly recommend her. Her channel. And her friendship. Thanks again, Lana. Okay. Uh, so the military is going to be here soon, but we still need to save Bob's daughter. Mr. Danger. How's it going, man? You like the dress? It really brings out my chest hair. <laughs> All right. So now we need to find Bob's daughter. Oh, but Bob's waving us down. Let's see what Bob wants. Hello out there. Looks great on me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey there. <laughs> All right, Bob. Chuck, I just spotted my girl. Looks, looks like she's in my hunting store. You can get there first. Tussle the chest hair for days. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to tussle the muscle. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> and here's Darcy, Bob's daughter. Hey, are you Bob's daughter? Did you see my father? I twisted my ankle and haven't been able to check in with him. Anybody? Will you follow me? I'm going to take you to your dad and then the safe house. I better not go anywhere alone with a strange man. My dad would kill you if he finds out. Why would he kill me? He's really protective. You better bring him here so he can see no funny business is going on. Oh, there's going to be funny business, all right. I can't chance leaving here without my dad. You better bring him to me. All right. Hey, Bob! I found your daughter. Came for your daughter, Chuck. Above the law, what's that? She's 
the apple of my eye. I'm not going nowhere until I know she's safe. Uh, well. Hmm. I found your daughter. She hurt her ankle and won't leave the store. That's my girl not trusting a stranger. I taught her well. You didn't touch her, did you, Chuck? Of course not. Are you kidding? <laughs> Alright, you can take me to her. But I got my eye on you. Oh, God. Don't shoot. Stop shooting me. Please stop shooting me. <laughs> nice fucking model. Honk, honk. So glad you're okay. Chuck's gonna take us to a safe place. Sweet as All right. Thanks, baby. Move it. Hurry up. <laughs> I like how she calls me baby. Faster. Keep going. Keep moving. Let's go. Stick close. Still there? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Keep close. Stick with me. This way. Uh oh, Darcy's getting eaten. Stick to me. Stay over there. Bob sure is leaving Darcy behind. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get the hell out of here. I don't know how I'm going to fit everybody on my motorcycle. I am loving it. You could get used to being a law around here. What's your crocodile Dundee hat? Walkabout Creek. All right. That should be everybody. Can I leave now? Can we go? <laughs> Daddy's little girl. Hang on tight, honey. Oh no. Hulk, it's the military. Raise your hands and surrender yourself they want my daughter. Xbox 360 loading screens. I don't miss them. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Hit on my motorcycle and you're shooting at him. Soldier defeat. All right. There's a new movie with Paul Hogan, where he basically plays himself. You mean Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> we did it. We got out of town. And we found my truck that was stolen. Now well, he can keep it. I <laughs> like how there's duct tape holding the motorcycle together.
Oh yeah. Daddy's got his jacket. as a washed up actor where everyone is still obsessed with him as Crocodile Dundee <laughs> and he's kind of over it <laughs> I need to I need to look look that up so that was Dead Rising 2 the demo slash teaser Uh, that band live remember them live my head i want one of them dead so i can focus on oh xbox marketplace the words you say foundations trembling these voices deafening feels like i'm running out of time i need to <laughs> as much as I'd love to listen to the rest of that, I, I don't have time. <laughs> All right, we did it. We beat the demo. Uh, it took me a little longer because I uh, couldn't remember everything. Lightning crashes is <laughs> the champ, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll be uh, switching over to the actual game, Dead Rising 2. Uh, probably play that for about an hour. Then I have to go make dinner. So it's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> make dinner every fucking night. Uh, but by the way, Dead Animal Assembly Plant is also the better half of the Stranger Danger show, known as Mr. Danger. Uh, tonight they have a special night, uh, starring some very special guests. I don't remember the guest names, but they're very special. Uh, what, what is the, the name of the show tonight? Drag, Dragtacula. Uh, but if you're not if you're not following them, you're out of your damn mind because uh, they put on an amazing show. And if you didn't know, they're actually a band. Yes, they make music. Uh, really great music. I highly recommend them. They have a band camp. You should totally, totally, totally check them out. You're, you're crazy if you don't. Uh, I had no, I <laughs> never, I never listened to their music before until I was introduced to them by the Sour Kool Aid Show. But if I had never known them and I found their music, I would, I would definitely uh, 
I would definitely go to go to their shows. Uh, oh, it's Dragtacular uh, too, with six and Raya Leader. So yes, please check them out tonight and check out their Bandcamp. They're two of the best people I've I've ever met. Wish I met them sooner. But hey, you know, better late than never, right? Okay, enough uh, enough gushing over my favorite band. Uh, next game is the actual Dead Rising 2. Uh, this is the one that was ported over to the Xbox One and PS4 and the PC, I think. Probably not. Probably not PC, because I think they already had it. Um, so the loading time should be better, I think. I don't know. I haven't actually tried this one on the Xbox One. Oh. Gotta check on that audio. Or maybe I have tried it, I just don't remember. Which is completely and totally possible. Because I have a really bad boomer memory. Yes, I have. Okay. Restart the story. Oh, you're very you're very welcome, Mr. Danger. Capcom presents a daddy and his little girl. Say less. It's weird they don't have a term for your dad. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need you to sign this release form before you go out there. Oh, and uh, don't forget to include your next of kin. Her name is Katie. Can you take her somewhere safe? Yeah, I'll take her to the green room. With the nice man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. <laughs> uh, I think you mean the forgotten generation. Yeah, it's a shame they don't. I guess you suck at killing zombies, otherwise she'd still be around. Oh, what an <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Save it for the show, shithead. Zombies took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback. Most 
send them a little message. You gotta be willing to risk it all if you're ever really gonna <laughs> so this game's a little different from the first one. first place what's Wesley Snipes doing in this <laughs> he needed he needed more money after going to jail for avoiding for tax evasion <laughs> game is also co-op so if anybody has the game you're more than welcome to join <laughs> but I, I don't expect y'all to have this He didn't know it was co op. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd wait for a sale. I wouldn't. Uh... <laughs> you don't need to buy this. They banned Trump on everything except TikTok. <laughs> hey, Grono. How you doing? Uh, the reason I'm wearing those clothes is because they give me, uh, they give me perks. It's, uh, DLC clothes. Hey, do you know where the green rooms are? Yeah. But I am it's wearing a mask, so... Floor, and then straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. That's the latest equivalent of Cortana saying she's homo. <laughs> Your neck's been killing you? It's probably because you keep sleeping in a fucking recliner. Why don't you try a bed, Chrono? Active sonic speed. <laughs> Activate. Uh, I'm only playing for an hour. I mean, you know, you know, we could we could always play tomorrow. Uh. Let's see. It's because of your injuries? 
You used to be a bouncer? I know, you used to be a wrestler. There's Amber. Well, who do we have here? Mr. Chucky Green, Terror's reality star. I guess you think you're a big man now. Well, I bet nothing about you is particularly big. Ooh. She's trying to say I have a small penis. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, Chrono. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? You, you have to go see a doctor? Disappointed in your performance tonight, Chuck. Oh, damn. But you must get that a lot. That's okay. They got pills for that. Good night, ladies. Yeah, everybody hates Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, we could we could play tomorrow. I'm only playing for an hour. I'm I'm not gonna get very far. It's basically uh, tutorial stuff. Katie, I got Katie. blood all over me. <laughs> Get off her. Yeah. Oh, damn. Go away. Katie, it's me. It's Daddy. <laughs> Stay calm, okay? We need to get out of here. So hang on tight. Everybody's dying. <laughs> uh yeah, w when you do download it, I would I would at least play the first 30 minutes of the game. Uh just so you're able to jump into my my game. Totally left his girlfriend. The capital of Waka Waka. Uh, no, this is uh, Las Vegas, which is pretty much the capital of Waka Waka. <laughs> I think Aggressive Muppet lives here with uh, 
What was his name? Fonzie? Fuzz? Fuzzy? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> waka waka waka! We're gonna have to take our chances in there, kiddo. Second son. Listen, it's an existing condition. All right, it's okay. It happened a long time ago. It's only a matter of time before she turns. Hey, don't worry. I've got Sombrex. Yeah, well, you better have a lot. Because there ain't none here, and the rescue ain't coming for three days. Three days? Yeah, the reserves will already be mobilizing. But their first priority is to quarantine the city, and that takes time. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. There's a pharmacy in the Royal Flesh Mall. I'm Stacy <laughs> Forsyth, by the way. I'm Chuck. And this is Katie. Do you know a way out of here? No. But if you find one, I suggest you take this. That way we can keep in touch. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only. But I'll keep an eye on them. Chuck, if you find anyone alive out there... I'll do what I can. Keep an eye on my daughter, okay? She's got the new switch. <laughs> Military will arrive in three days to contain the zombie outbreak. Keep track of how much time is left by looking at your watch. Always remember that Katie needs Zombrex every 24 hours, or she'll die. Uh, the transceiver will let you receive 
co-op calls. Yes, this is a co-op game. People can drop in for a co-op game at any time. You can restrict who joins in the gameplay option menu. Explore Fortune City with a friend and slaughter even more undead. Welcome back, hero. Gotta, gotta find some Zombrex for Katie. Uh, let's see. Is it gameplay? Uh, friends only. Okay. So if you're a friend and you got the game, you can join. Uh, this is where you can change clothes. This is where you can save. <laughs> you can just keep calling me to annoy me, yep. <laughs> just like Resident Evil 5. to it right at the end of the day so I could derail at the end of the meeting and talk about Death Stranding. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got a Hello? call. Chuck, I found a travel brochure of Fortune City. Uh, oh, they're going to let... Okay. I guess it's because I played this before. Usually they, they don't let you in until later. Let's oh. do this. All right. I think we can make another one. Because <laughs> these are uh, DLC clothes, and they they give me perks. Uh, like they make me faster and stronger. Badass. I also get more PP. I got a skateboard. Where's my skateboard? Is there a skateboard in here? I thought there was a skateboard in here. No? Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm dumb. Got the skateboard back. I should grab more skateboards. I don't know if there's a magazine that uh, improves the skateboards in this. I'm gonna have to look that up. Big pee pee. <laughs> it's all about the big pee pee. Let the lady go. 
Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Yeah, old exactly man. Exactly what I'm doing. I'm just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely gonna need some painkillers when yep, I'm done Hulk with Champ you. Yep, champ is gone. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some. Yeah, it's never gonna be the yeah. same. Give us some money, Grandpa. It's really we'll sad. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Yeah, Grandpa. Alright. So those guys are always in the mall. They're really not that annoying. Uh, they can be, but... The higher level you are, they really don't do much. You fell asleep after some carbs? <laughs> Score. Uh, Ace Fox has a strong addiction to carbs. Uh, Zombrex is a drug that stops the infected from becoming zombies. It is in high demand, expensive, and hard to find. The new and improved Zombrex formula now lasts 24 hours. Zombrex overdoses are deadly. Users must never take it earlier than prescribed. So, we have to give Katie Zombrex every 24 hours between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, to prevent her from becoming a zombie because she was bitten by her mother, who became a zombie. So... There we go. Okay. Got some, got some coffee creamer. Any news? I found the Zombrex. It's still too early to give to Katie. And we're gonna talk. Talk to Denise. I thought they were gonna kill me. It's okay. You're safe now. Are you hurt? I think I'm okay. Thank you so much. You got here before they. before they. Listen, there's a safe house where you'll be safe. At the safe house. Come follow me to the safe house. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, there are survivors. It just tells you how you're supposed to escort them to the safe house. Uh, this game is way better with uh, survivors than uh, the first Dead Rising. Follow me. Keep close. That's the weirdest spelling of Denise I have ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> that is the Japanese spelling of Denise. Stick to me. Hurry up. Faster. Keep going. Keep it moving. This way. Let's go. Still there? Follow me. Stick to me. Stick with me. Move it. Keep going. Keep it moving. Stay close. Let's go! Keep close! Don't fall behind! This way! Come on! Come on! Uh, and as you can see, it's way better to... Get survivors than it was in the first game. I'm so grateful. It's so much easier. Where on earth did you find them? Never mind. I don't want to know. There's still people alive out there. We can't afford to have any infected in here. Yeah, Sullivan's a real asshole. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, they got all kinds of stuff you can do in this game. They've added so much. You can make combo weapons. Uh, they've got so much more clothing you can wear. <laughs> They have many vehicles. You can also attach uh, two chainsaws to a motorcycle, which is a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, no, this is uh, Zero, I think. Not Mega Man? No, no, this is... Uh, no, Chuck can dress up as Arthur from uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts. Alright, that's for health. Uh, this is for combat. Uh, magazines do improve items in the game again. Uh, and I get a boost in PP with this one. <laughs> uh, they also have pawn shops where you can buy special items. Uh, it's not open yet. Because uh, I have to do more of the story. Let's see. There's a magazine shop somewhere. There's the pawn shop. Where's the magazine shop? Oh, magazines. Uh, you can't make uh, waypoints in this one, but in. Uh, and off the record, because they made a they made a second uh, Dead Rising two, and it's more like a what if uh, Frank West was in Dead Rising two, and I'll, I'll be playing that after this one. Horror. Twenty five percent boost from defeating zombies. This one's gambling. Any more magazines? No. It must be in another part of the mall. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> so funny. All right. forget your manga. <laughs> I don't think they sell your particular kind of manga. I think what you're looking for is hentai. Uh, these are the maintenance rooms where you can make all kinds of different uh, combo weapons. Not right. Let's see. Maybe it's the water gun. Yeah, it's the water gun. Cool. Made a scratch card. Excellent. Sweet. There we go. We made a homemade air horn. Uh, 
and this freezes zombies. And then you can break them. <laughs> I got a lot of crazy stuff. A gun blade? Uh, you can make a pitchfork shotgun. They have. Oh, they got that. They look like uh, Norman Reedus. Uh, this is the beer store. He's got many packages to deliver. <laughs> uh, leaf blower, and I think parasol does something. Damn right. Yeah. Where you learn about the, the lightsaber. And they do have a lightsaber in this game. <laughs> Which is very funny. down here this is no well 
Might be over here. Oh, and Playboy is a huge thing in this game. Every marquee poster board has Playboy on it. <laughs> I don't I don't know. They must have made some kind of deal. They got their funding from Playboy. Core parkour. Ooh, layers of fear. Wicked. That's a good one. Uh, so this is the paddle saw. Thanks for the follow, man. How's it going? Now we gotta get back to Katie and give her some Zumbergs. Madness. It's the best kind. There's LaShondra. Lady, it's LaShondra Dawkins. And hell no, I ain't alright. My good for nothing husband left me out here. My little twerp of a husband left me. Is that little twerp a skinny guy real nervous? That's my Gordon. Bring me to him so I can regulate his ass. <laughs> up this lovely reunion. He's right. Let's go, Gordon. <laughs> and we level up. And leveling up increases health, inventory, and you get combo cards. Ooh, a drill motor and a pitchfork. And combo cards give you combo weapons.
Lucille. That's right. And it's time to give Katie her shot. PSP. <laughs> I've been told that we have received a broadcast from our field reporter Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. Ah, uh, yes, Rebecca Chang. It's clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. This shocking footage was obtained from a source inside the Fortune City Arena, the site of the Terror's Reality Game Show. It may be upsetting to some viewers. Initial reports suggest that the man in the video is former motocross champion Chuck Green. What? Green. What a the member hell? of the zombie rights protest group Cure was a contestant in tonight's pay-per-view game show. Acquaintances describe Green as a known drifter who is still angry over his wife's death in the Vegas outbreak. This horrible act of terror appears to be an escalation of violence for the protest group. <laughs> this Checking is with Rebecca a Chang <laughs> reporting live from the Fortune City Hotel in the heart of Fortune City. What? That's complete bullshit. That was not me. Did you have something to do with this? No way, not in your life. My daughter and I barely get out of that arena alive. What possible reason would I have to do something like that? Why are they saying you're part of Cure? I went to one meeting, once. After I lost my wife. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. I think I know why. It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. We were in town protesting that awful show you were on. Do you believe me? I don't know what to believe. But you sure don't seem like a terrorist. And I know we weren't involved. Look, we have three days before the military rolls in. That's how much time I have to prove I'm innocent. The reporter, the one at the hotel. The tape she had, it's a complete fake. She said she had a source. Whoever that is must know more. I need to find out where she got it. She said she was in the hotel. I'll keep an eye on your daughter. I won't say anything to her. I don't want her to worry. All right. Uh, you've been framed for the zombie outbreak in Fortune City. Track down clues to uncover the truth about what happened. Clear your name and escape from the city. Okay, so clearly we've been set up. And we gotta prove our innocence. Plus keep our daughter alive. And rescue almost everyone in Fortune City. Also known as Las Vegas. <laughs> Okay. And that'll have to be another time. Probably not until uh, Monday. Because uh, tomorrow, I think, is Star Wars Saturday. And then Sunday is Gears of Sunday. So yeah, we won't get back to this until Monday. 
I forgot what day it was. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Nope. Uh, so, yep, that's 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 the end of the end of the stream. Sorry. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow for Star Wars, uh, but no, I think Stranger Danger is going to be back tomorrow. Was I'll, I'll be on his show tomorrow. So if you're not following the Stranger Danger show, uh, you should do that right now, because tonight they're having a special show, Dragtacular, with Six and Rey a leader, two drag queens. It should be a fun night of sh shenanigans and then tomorrow is Star Wars Saturday on the Stranger Danger show so uh, thanks everybody for hanging out Lana thank you so much for the 500 bits that was really kind of you uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and raid the lusty bard who might be oiling his abs right now, just for you. Please say hello to him. He is a real life bard. He is, he's an actual bard. I'm not kidding. He does bard stuff. <laughs> so, don't you Star Wars, Star Wars it up? Uh, yeah, I usually do, but when Stranger Danger does Star Wars Saturday? I just I'm just a guest on on his show. I don't I don't stream. So so tomorrow will be the Stranger Danger, uh, and Danger's going to be there too. So he wasn't there last time, so he's going to be there. Uh, so it's going to be Stranger and Danger tomorrow for Star Wars Saturday, and possibly Lana Winters. She she might show up as well. Because I think she has the game. I think it's going to be Battlefront 2. So. Should definitely check them out. Uh, also check out... Uh, Lana Winters. Because she also streams. And the raid, the raid's about to go. So, so hurry up and follow Lana. Hurry up and follow. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>